major story in horse racing over the last few weeks has been Jorge Navarro, the trainer, and of course the trainer of Sharp Azteca. There was a video that many people saw, maybe many of you didn't see it, involving him and one of his owners. It's been a big controversy. <laughs> controversy. There were fines levied in New, York, New Jersey. A lot of tracks not accepting his entries. Jorge Navarro is standing in the paddock with Gabby Gadet. Thank you, Andy. And Jorge, obviously, you have been the subject of controversy uh, recently after um, a video was released uh, back in the beginning of August. Jorge, what have you, how have you kind of reflected on this situation? And is there anything you'd like to say to the racing community about it? Yes, first I want to apologize to all of them. Like I said, my wife, my family, everybody. He's, um, I'm ashamed of what happened that day. All right, uh, I let somebody took the best out of me, and you know that's a no-no. Uh, a guy like me, leading trainer, all right, uh, should be acting that way. And I do regret what happened that night. And if I have to apologize for the rest of my life, it's going to happen. I will. And Jorge, with certain situations like this, you know, when, when there's controversy surrounding an operation or when there's a lot of negative attention, how does that kind of affect the mood uh, of you and of your operation as well moving forward? You know what? I want to thank my assistants. Jesus Christ. Uh, they, were, they were there for me these last two weeks. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I don't know where, I, where I've been. Or my wife. It would see what's a hard situation. Listen, this is all I know how to do. I know how to train horses. I'm a horseman. All right? And feeling that they weren't taking that away from me. Feeling that sharp as tech, I wasn't be able to run. All right? Hey, I want to thank the uh, Naira for doing this for me and the horse. It's about the horse, not me. All right? About me, I'm going to clean up. And like I said, if I'm going to apologize for the rest of my life, I will. That's the type of guy that I am. All right. I just find that like the way they're handling this situation based on this video is a little bit knee jerk and it's a little bit obnoxious and um, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, so, and I was disappointed in myself for jumping to so many conclusions and saying some of the things I've said in private and whatever. And, and, and I just even don't on think the it's show, fair. I mean, to be fair. Yeah, even on the show. And I don't think it's fair that we, we jump to conclusions and I don't know what his record is on positives and not positives. Um, Here's what I will say is that there is someone, and I won't say that person's name, but there is someone that I really respect in racing um, that thinks very highly of Jorge Navarro. Uh, there's a couple of guys that I that think very highly of him and think he gets a bad rap. And I've, in all the time I've ever done this show, uh, I've never, ever, ever, ever pulled the race card, um, except for the time I told the story about the guy. That's who, not the race card. That's that's not that, the was, race that was that was something that, uh, that, that was not the, you, you, get, a, you right. get a clean clean bill of health for that one. Just so you know. I wonder, and I, and I hope I don't offend anyone with this. I really do wonder if 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 he happened to be from a different background, would this have happened? And maybe the maybe the answer is yes, right? I, I mean, he look, he does win at an unbelievable clip, and he does move up horses that 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 run fifty buyers and then they run eighties. Um, but a lot of guys do that, and a lot of guys do a lot of stuff. And just because he had a loud mouth owner who jumped on a video and carried on. I, I just don't, I, I don't know. I just don't feel great about the whole situation. XY Jet, who in 2019 won a major race in the Middle East. XY Jet was regularly doped with misbranded and adulterated blood builders and other performance enhancing drugs in a callous effort to increase that horse's performance. XJ Jet, XY Jet died on January 8th. 2020 at the age of eight, Navarro stated that the death was due to an apparent heart attack. Our office's investigation of the death of XY Jet continues. Navarro is also alleged to work with another defendant to quietly dispose of the bodies of dead horses rather than to report those deaths to the relevant authorities. In one intercepted phone call, Nicholas Zurich, a trainer, and a co-conspirator with Navarro said, you know how many horses he, Navarro, killed and broke down that I made disappear? 
You know how much trouble he could get in if they found out the six horses we killed. The six horses we killed.